Good to see you again. Before we jump into everything, this is going to be a discussion this weekend. It's a Drudge Report headline. It's a Wall Street Journal opinion piece. I just want to stress it's an opinion piece, but that the dramatic drop off we are seeing in COVID infections nationally is indicating, according to the opinion piece from a Johns Hopkins researcher, that we might be reaching herd immunity. Any thoughts on that? That is the big discussion in public health right now. It certainly is possible. There was an article published about three weeks ago from Columbia University indicating that as many as 10 people have had COVID that never got tested, which means we have 10 times as many people in this country that are immune. You add that to the vaccinations that have been rolling out, and it's possible we could be approaching herd immunity. We should know within the next two or three months if this trend ho holds, but this is definitely the most uh, positive news we've seen in a long time. So with that in mind, and then also coupled with the news out today, we got the data out from a peer-reviewed study that shows that Pfizer's vaccine is highly effective after just one dose. It could be stored in normal freezers, but more, I guess, focusing on that one dose part of it, how big of a game changer then could that potentially be when we talk about getting the pandemic under control? That's huge. And it's huge for two reasons. It's not huge because people won't need two doses. As you heard Dr. Fauci say, we're still going to need two doses. But it's huge because that means as soon as someone has their first dose, within about two weeks, they reduce their risk of getting COVID and spreading it to other people. The Israeli study showed as much as an 85% drop off in cases after they fully vaccinated their workforce. And that's just incredibly important in terms of slowing down the spread of this virus. It means that we'll see a response much sooner than we had predicted. I'm asking a PhD this question, forgive my ignorance, but if things like the Spanish flu, I guess they died out because they didn't have flu inoculations back then. Is there a chance this could just die out and that the vaccines we've developed would not be needed going forward? Well, we still actually vaccinate for the flu. So the, it doesn't really die out. That, that um, variant. Well, it, it's, it's similar. It's similar. Okay. Some of the flus we have are actually um, similar to what the Spanish flu looks like. It dies out in terms of spread, but the actual virus remains. So we have to continue to vaccinate probably with COVID. Most researchers do think this will require an annual, at least if not twice a year booster to make sure that we keep immunity levels high enough that we stop outbreaks. It'll always be there. People are going to get COVID probably now well into the future. Um, but hopefully we can keep the consequences of COVID under control with regular vaccination. We talk about getting coronavirus under control, the risk of variants. We've been talking about that so often over the last uh, few weeks here. What needs to happen in order to get through this phase, this next phase, without a huge spike? Well, we need to get really consistent vaccine administration to lots of different populations. We can't leave people behind. We have to make sure the vaccine's getting into all communities to get that base level of immunity to stop the virus from spreading. We also have to watch the variants. We have to see, are they consequential variants or just variants that are, are normal, but the vaccine will still work. Uh, those are gonna be the big things we're watching in the next few months. But quite honestly, this is what public health does. It's what we do with influenza. And now it looks like it's what we'll be doing with coronavirus going forward too. It is always a pleasure to be schooled by a PhD and Suzanne Judd is the doctor who is a PhD of epidemiology at University of Alabama at Birmingham School of Public Health. Thank you so much for being here once again. We look forward to you returning.